morning guys. So, a little bit of back history first. So, when I started flying model aircraft, I started flying slope swans. This was back when I was maybe 11 or 12 years old by memory, and I was flying on the hills of South Africa, and pretty much it embedded an absolute love for RC gliders. And um, I've got a whole armory of them sitting out in the garage. But um, unfortunately, because of the advent of FPV, I just haven't really kind of done much gliding lately. Now, the thing is, I've got a lot of expensive gliders, fully composite, gloss fiber aircraft. They are beautiful. But um, while I kind of want to get back into it, I've also been a bit nervous about taking out these expensive aircraft and chucking them off the side of a hill. It's, it's a hazardous environment. And quite frankly, I'm just not quite up for it at the moment through lack of stick time. Now, this model popped up the other day on Banggood. And I was quite interested, really, just to have a play because it strikes me as being off the bat just pretty much a fantastic slope slash flat field electric model. And what a beauty it is! Look at that. This model, to all intents, looks and feels when I pick it up like a fully composite model. It is incredibly well built. Now, <laughs> Testament to this, the foam is some of the densest and best quality foam I have ever had. Ever. You know, I've had a lot of models. This thing is, it's just rock solid. I cannot bend it. I can't compress it. It's really, really good. Side effect, it's a heavy flame. But you know what? A little bit of weight on a model like this is actually a fantastic thing. Because it gives you a, a massive turn of speed when you're not running under power. Now... <sighs> Kind of some of the things I want to show you on this is, and one of what, well, there's two key things. Number one, let's look at the wing. This wing is obviously fully molded, we've got flaps, we've got ailerons, but look at this. I'm going to head out here, and if I take the model over here, I can pick the entire thing up. I'm pretty close to the wing tip. Well, that's pretty good going. That, that really does show you just how stiff the wings are and how much strength there is in this. Because sitting in the middle here, you're talking about a two and a half kilogram model that I'm picking up from the wingtip. That's pretty good going. Now, the model itself, the build quality is fantastic. You, everything came pre-plugged in. And to give a sense of the level of finish, if I take just the tail plane over here, well, there, I'll just unplug that. And you can kind of, well, in fact, there's absolutely no way you'll see, but I'll Take my word for it, you've got a tiny like JST type plug over here. And everything's plug and play. So that's got a servo pre-installed, all connected, all the linkages are correct. And to install it and uninstall it, it's just a matter of plugging the bits together, and that's it. And the same thing stands true on this. You know, basically, ah, actually this is going to be too tight for me to do whilst on film. I can try again. But the whole, oh, there we go, the whole wing comes off on a massive box and it's got like an MPX green type connector there. It all just works. It's <laughs> the attention to detail is superb. Now up front you can plug up to a 3300 4S in here. I, I flew today with a 3000 milliamp 4S. It was a very knackered 4S so it was a little lackluster but um I kind of blame the battery for that because, to be honest, I couldn't get much power out of it. And that's just the way it goes. It's um, It's been sitting in a state of charge for weeks and weeks and weeks, in fact, probably over a year. So I'm not too surprised it didn't have much juice in it. But um, yeah, you've got all the leads come out here. Everything was clearly labeled. So I, I think, you know, the total build, I didn't time this exactly, but to put this together from the box, took all of 10 minutes and probably 20 minutes of programming time after I plugged the receiver in. It's, it's that quick and it flies quite well too. Now I've got a little bit of footage I took from earlier today where you can see me launch half a dozen fly past because you know what it's like when you're a camera you can barely see the plane and I don't want to waste all your time with watching a dot moving around the sky a mile high that does nothing for you but you'll see the launch a few pass and a landing 
And um, I think I even have a little bit of a preamble where I give you my initial thoughts after I landed. And what I can tell you now retrospectively, it's a great model. Fantastic. What it isn't, what it isn't, is a fully composite moldy. So if you were to spend the money buying this, expecting a glass for Habership, you will be disappointed. It's not that. But I'll tell you what, compared to something like the Valentix Phoenix 2000 and such, this is, it's a mile ahead. Um, if not more, it is so much better. And as just a basic sport slope moldy, it's a good job. You know, this is a fantastic buy. And um, for all of what, $200? It, it seems an absolute bargain to me. Hey, right. I hope you enjoy. Video is coming up now, and I'm sure we'll get soon. Cheers. Okay, so initial thoughts are very, very good. This is a fantastic model. Um, I've got to be honest, I haven't got it trimmed out properly yet. It's under power, it's climbing a bit, and under the glide, it's diving. Probably CG related, but I've only got a few minutes out today to prove this flute. And it does very, very well. What's somewhat lacking is my line of sight flying experience because I just haven't done so much over the past few years because I've been so engaged with quadcopters and FPV. But what a superb model. Look at that for absolutely wonderful. Superb value for money. 